Hello, hey, oh. hey, here. Yeah. Today I was thinking we should talk a little bit about baby lips from Maybelline. And but first, what do we think about this necklace? I have shown you this one in my previous video, but I didn't know what I would do with it. I was talking about maybe replacing this plastic part for a metal part, but I saw my dog collar that I bought. I actually bought a dog collar because I loved this pink. I bought this several years ago. It has like fakey diamonds and no metal on this side which makes me super happy um, it's covered the metal part here as well thumbs up on that so I was thinking I don't need a leash so I put this cutesy with an emoji with those lovely rainbow colors because it's the pride month so why not be a little cute and supportive and everything. My big brother that I miss super duper much was actually gay so I have no harm or nothing against gay people. I love gay people, trans people, bisexual people, straight people. I love everybody that's nice. Everybody that's kind and everything so but it's the pride month I've heard and seen a lot so I was thinking why not the rainbow thing on here and yeah I like my idea so that's maybe a thing for me switch out like uh, different key holders here and use that and just go with my own thing so without further ado let's dive into my baby lips collection I haven't been using these except in the previous video where I, where I used the mint candy. Is that the name? Mint candy? Maybe we will dive into that. If it was that or not, but the reason why I don't use them so much is because Maybelline do test their product, products on animals. And I don't like that, but it's the ingredients ingredients in these are actually vegan so that's one plus it doesn't cover out the bad part which is that they're trying to make up on animals my sister it bugged her so much that she got rid of all her makeup that was tried on animals and she she like do you want some of it and i took the baby lips one and she bought me some baby lips one in 2015 16. I think 1516. And I bought myself baby lips back then as well, but not so many as I got from her. But I I used them until like 2017, 18, something like that. And then we used them ever since because I, I don't want to support the brand that tests, tests, tests their makeup on it because I think that's wrong and stone age and get over yourselves please so I don't know what I will do with these after I actually film with, the, with these uh, I actually have these still in the box. I have used them a few times when I thought at least the ingredients are vegan. But since about one one and a half years back, I I don't want to be using these in particular much. I do want to try them on for a video though. But I don't like that they try their stuff on animals, so that's why I haven't bought any. I was thinking of using all of these up and all that, but people like, are you gonna use all products? You know those people? 
and I'm like, yeah, I will. They are old, but I think they will work, and I don't think they will do me any harm. So, we will dive into, like, I will show you the first, and then we will dive into, like, the names and all that. If all of them have names, I'm sure. And, yeah, the other ones I have in my cute, cute, cutesy box, and I got the Williams book as well. And, good thing. It's a store in Sweden. It's these are like yeah, gold, silver watches, jewelry, rings, or you can think of and things that aren't like harmful to your health, like nickel or is there in the store nickel? That metal that some of us don't can handle because it itches like me. I'm one of them, so and not further to they have like, these things as well. Like they are again, they are for jewelry, but I use them for my baby lips. Because like I said before it didn't burn me that much, but it has bothered me for I know that I don't have a whole collection or anything. I'm not gonna buy more things. But uh, like I said, I do maybe use these up, I don't know yet, it depends, maybe some of these are not good for my lips and if it is or whatnot, maybe not for color, because it's not good or whatever, because they are several, several years old. But not about the oldness of these things. What do you say? <laughs> the box says, you should close it up. Is that a sign? I don't know. Well, we're going to dive into uh, maybe those without glitter at first. So, I'm thinking maybe we will go with this one. It was like baby lips color pop or something. Pop color. And it's 20. Number 20, Bubblegum Pop. Name there. It's, I can see through thing. And yeah, let's smell it. It still smells like it, like it did when I got it. It was my sister box for me. Yeah, we're going to grab this and put it on our lips. Still feels and smells like it used to. I don't know, maybe my skin will hate me after this. And my body very dusty. So. I don't know. Maybe this light makes it too light. Yeah, I can see it a bit better now. Maybe. Yeah. The color's not too bad. It doesn't smell too bad, to be honest. I don't like the protest amendments, that's why I don't want to buy the of these. But I'm such a sucker for this packaging. Mm -hmm. like, the only problem about the packaging is the feel of, yeah, this. It's too plastic, but the, the whole cover thing, it's durable. And this was kind of funny, bubblegum pop. Still good after several years, yeah. And we're going to use some makeup wipes. Dive into the next one. I'm gonna use a bit of this. Yeah, you can see the pink. You can see the pink. Yeah. And so we continue with 
maybe grab some of these shades. This one is not glitter. This one is not glitter. Those two were. These are not pink. And these are pink. The pink to stick in it. So maybe. Yeah, we have some like see through that we're going to use here. So let's have a smell and look at mint. Mint brush. We have this like almost sickening green with purple letters. It says mint fresh on the side. Can you see? Yeah, it says me first for you. And it smells a lot of mint actually still. It smells a lot of mint, but it's plastic. How does this thing? Still minty? And still that freshy kind of feeling. No irritation, even though they're very old, so no irritation. And it still goes a bit cool. Yeah, maybe I should have like pulled up closer. <laughs> ah, we're gonna redo that. Sorry. Mint fresh once again and yeah you can see it's shining yeah it's shiny it's a shiny that's it has a shiny feel to it still good and here we have another one that's also see-through and it's just this in in Instant care. Instance care. Intense care. Intense care. Yeah, intense care. I have, I have a problem reading this, but it's a yellow and sort of like, what is this called? Orangey red. And here you have that text on the side. This does not smell so much. It smells a little like old sort of smells from back in the day. It doesn't smell old. Don't get me wrong. It smells like those old like lip care things that was before. Yeah, it's not it. So sweet, but yet caring, if that makes sense. I don't know, but you can see? Shining, shining, yeah, shining. No discomfort yet. Third, with the third one from Baby Lips. From Baby Lips, from Maybelline. Those Baby Lips, yeah. And we're going to look if we can find some more. Yeah, this one is kind of see-through and this one is kind of see-through. This is kind of dark and those are sparkling. So these two, that this one I actually had in my previous video and I'm so sorry about the end of that video I was not meant to ramble about things that wasn't in that video so I'm so sorry about that but anywho for you who haven't seen that this is the mint candy one 
it has this lovely blue green color so cute and pretty and, and small hearts and like I, I can't say no to these I couldn't before if I eat <laughs> even the A have like muffs on like you have on the ears when it's like winter out I don't know maybe if I see one product would I buy it? I don't know would I be able to resist? I don't know but will I try to think about that they do test on animals if they stop if Maybelline stop test their products on animals I would love to buy these again I will totally support Maybelline and all other companies that decide that animal testing are not okay we will not do that no more so without further ado this is mint candy and this is the color it's a bit like it looks more pink than it is like you saw if you saw my previous video Still minty. It's still candy, and it has a smidge of a color. Not much. More shine than color, and doesn't feel bad. And right in the mouth. These wipes though, they're good for a dollar and it's 25 in one packet. Yeah, 10 kroner, about a dollar. So with those wipes, these are actually good. So let's dive into the next one. We have like Hydrate. And this has my two favorite colors, which is baby blue and baby pink. It's such a great color and hydrate does smell a little bit like this one, the intense care one, a bit, but this one has more like a minty sort of it's good. And like I said, these are a couple of years old and still they feel good. The lips does not hurt or burn or anything. So, and this one is a shiny one, no color, hydrate, but on the box or the packet, my favorite color. And hydrate stands with pink right there. I'm hoping you can see that and on, 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 and on all of these it says Maybelline at the top Maybelline New York I think yeah Maybelline New York still feel good we are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 this is in my lips hating me a little bit because of the throbbing but otherwise nothing wrong with these glasses and now we are going to jump into these nudies not sparkle not sparkly nudies and we have <coughs> three nudies let's start with this doctor rescue this one was actually my favorite of all of these because my lips loved it and it's it name is coral gray coral gray coral gray don't know the meaning of that but Dr. Rescue 
it's a white kind of doctory feel with a little minty green background here and we have the moon right there. So how are you after all these years? And like I said, this one is the most used. I can actually smell it without smelling it. Still the same smell. And it's mm, now color. Still feels minty. And hydrated. Nothing on this either. So what do you all say? Yeah, you can't use old lip makeup. You can't. This one had a little smidge of color, but not much. And let's continue with this movies, movies, movies. And we have a purple one with hearts and earmuffs on the A there as well, like we have on the candy one. But this is purple with pink text and pink hearts and a, yeah, some mittens. Mittens here, like I thought they were hearts first, but it's actually mittens. Is it the, that on the. Yeah! It's mittens on this one too. I thought it was hearts. Yeah. My eyes are playing tricks with me. Are your eyes usually doing that too? Mine does. When I'm reading or when I'm looking at things, I need to look and concentrate and then see what it is. So, and don't stress so much about it as I do. But on to this one. We have hot cocoa. This one I actually got from my other sister. I got one from her and the rest from my little sister. And the other sister, and as I'm referring to, are actually not my lady sister in any how. I just call her my sister. Because she is my sister. My little sister too. Because when she was little, she said, I want a big sister too, can I call you a big sister? I'm like, yeah, you can. And she's stuck on me, so... Uh, we have hot cocoa. And it's this nudie color. Still smells of, like hot cocoa. Still feels like it. And see, it's a bit nudy. Yeah, it's a bit nudy. Come on. Nothing wrong with that one either. But what do you think? Should I like use them all up or just put them in the box? Never true. Again. Or what do you think? That's the color. Wiping out. I'm not the hugest fan of nude, but I do like a deep nude. So let's dive into the next nudie one. It's Peach Kiss. And it's purple with like yeah, skin tone color, beige or something, beigey orange, and here we have the text, peach kiss, that actually, yeah, you can actually read on this one, so that's not such a bad idea, still smells like a peach. And it's supposed to be a nude color as well. Still peachy. And still nudie. Still 
perfect rain. Nothing wrong with one either. And these are several years. I'm a bit shocked about that. Are you shocked about that? Like and tell. What do you think? Is it wrong to use makeup products that are years and years old or is it okay? I'm thinking so far after one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these baby lips, I think it's okay. And even for this brand, and like I said, so would support it if they didn't try their products on animals. So, but I do have these, so I might as well go through them. And let's go and take and grab these pinkies. And we have another one with those mittens and like the cutesy wintry feel of, of it. And this one is sugar cookie. Yeah, still smell like it used to. This pink as well. It's lucky pink, not too intense. Still moisturized, still feels like you bought this today, but that's not the case here. You bought this several years ago, or your sister bought them and then she didn't want them because Maybelline tried the stuff on animals and she didn't want to support that. So yeah, that's the color. I will wipe it off. Wipe, 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 wipe. Yeah. But to be honest, my lips are beginning to hate me. Did we zoom in on the effects there? We didn't, right? Sugar cookie. And it's pink with blue text mittens and cute sister and sugar cookie pinky pink pink and then we have another pink one we have pink punch with pink and yellow pink and yellow just no mittens no anything just Cute packaging, and this one I've never used actually. It's never used. Like I said, I have some that I never used. So this is one of them that I've never used. So I did smell it. I just never used. It. I just, yeah, you know, packaging still smells like. Must have some sort of soda, pink punch. Is that a drink or what is that? Comment down below if you know what is pink punch. I don't know. Yeah, mm. yeah this is also a light, light pink, not too intense color, not nothing. Maybe I will do like separate, separate lip pictures with each and every one in the order of these. I do not know yet, but yeah, we forgot to zoom in on that text there. You can read it quite well. Pink punch, good packaging, doesn't feel weird or anything. My lips just feel weird. It feels weird from this white pink blue. And here's the color that I'm wiping off. I actually really like this magic wipe still. Good. And a dollar. Mm. Can't really beat that price. So, now we have these intense colors. Here. Yeah, 
these intense ones. Yeah. The glitters last, right? Yeah, glitters last. Let's let's dive into of these blacks. My my favorite and that I that one I did use and had in my bag of these more intense baby lips was this one. Um, it's Stripe a Rose and Baby Lips Electro. Baby Lips Electro. And there's the text. And that quite well as well. Stripe a Rose. And it, as you can see, I use this quite a bit. It still smells like a rose. Yeah, it still smells rosy. And this one was actually the first baby lips I purchased. Purchased. It doesn't feel weird. And this is actually my oldest one, so it doesn't feel weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, doesn't feel weird. Gorgeous packaging. Pretty and gorgeous. And all that. And the color, it's a bit more pink. I don't know if you can see, it is a bit more pink. Yeah. And you can see it on this. So, it's more pink. And I'm right there. This is pink shock. Right there, you see the name pink shock. And this one was the second I bought. This one either. It's also a pinky color, but none of these are extreme, like yeah, extremely much or anything. Or... So it's so sad that the company tests products and animals because several years, years ago these lipsticks lip glosses or lip. Lippies are still working, and that's the shock. Pink shock, shock, shock. It's quite pink, so it was good that we see that. And here we have one that I just bought for the baby lips purpose. It's baby lips electro. Very bomb. I bought this exact same for my mom first, and then I wanted one for myself. I'm talking several years ago, not talking yesterday. Old products, but we are going to review them. And you're going to write what you think if you want to, of course. But here it is. Very bomb. Have we used? Let's see. This one actually doesn't smell that much. <laughs> and 
no color whatsoever almost maybe this is too bad yes smells a little berry but and it's hydrating it's good but a smidgy 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 little bit like not enough to call it like bomb baby lips electro the purple one like when I saw I, I was actually thinking more purple when I bought it several years ago but I never tried it so I don't know maybe this is how it looked back then but I'm a bit shocked. It's very, very lightly purple. Not much at all. Comments on that. What do you think? Is it, is it because it's old or... Is this what to expect from the Barry Bond? Electro. Yeah, it comes off. On white, <laughs> it comes off like, yeah. We have purple, but for show, sure, no. We have none. Easy to wipe off. Mm. But let's dive in to these sparkly ones. And first we have baby lips with... Uh, there we have a heart. That's a heart at least. I, I, yeah, I can see that. And it's baby lips and a little kissy putty mouth over there. And it's candy kiss. It's a candy kiss supposed to smell like... Like... Smells like candy. And... Looks like just glitter, glitter, glitter. And what do you know? Still feels good. These were in the same like edition package that my sister bought for me as well. that time like I said before so yeah still they do work they do work and I am on my first like I'm not gonna wipe this off before I like try to make the glitter show in my camera does it show Maybe a little bit. It's a glitter one. Glitter does not show up not on my iPhone like this. But the more I record on this, on um, this sort of recording on my iPhone, I actually like it. But it's because it's not too bad. But I would love if it would show these glitters um, because when I look at one, I see lots of glitters. When you look at them, you see shimmer and pink. But this one is also baby lips with the heart and the A and a little poochy poochy mouth. And it's plum. Amor. Oh, how, how very romantic. Here we have the name. Plum de Amor. Did I show the name the previous one? Mm. If I didn't, here it is. Candy kiss. So, 
Oh. Like, lots of these have, like, candy and stuff in them. Let's dive into this one. It smells like candy. And this one is supposed to be pink and sparkling. How does it feel? Still feels good. And this has pink and green. And this has hmm, peachy pink or pink, red and orange mixed into one color. Some sort of blue green color on the text. But no irritation. Do we see the sparkles? Mm. Mm. Yeah, we don't, but. What a shocker at this point. That we don't feel any irritation or nothing. And here's the color I just bought. White up. Oh. Going to fold that. And I think we will wait with the gloss. The gloss, the gloss. No, I'm so sorry. Oh, bless me. We're going to wait with this glossy thing for last. So now this box is empty. Hmm. It was like 10 or 15 dollars. So, so and it had like another like boxy thing in it, but I don't have it in it because I don't know how to use it. Before. I will go grab it once. So I'm back here. This one is the one I don't have in there at the moment because. It's too large things to put in here and I don't have that. I have been thinking because if we can actually put this one aside and maybe I can put this one by itself. But I haven't done it yet, but yeah. Maybe I will. But this one is a part of this box. And this one is for as well. Oh, look at that. It's pretty. You can actually hide things behind there. Like that. If that makes any sense. And of course it does. No, we're not gonna be be like that, so this one like so or put this one right now but this one came like that so for jewelry but I have it for my baby lips so I don't know if I maybe if I separate that and put my other in there maybe maybe not I don't know yet so Let's dive into this one. The one I showed, the first thing I showed, and then we jumped into the other one and do this. So, without further ado, let's do this. And inside this box, we have, yeah, we have these. We actually have the names. So, we're actually going to do it like this. We have crystal keys. And then we have glamming floral there, and then we have pink quartz, and then we have sweet apple. You want like sweet apple one? And they are in the right order. So we're just gonna dive right in. Diving. 
then let's go with the color colored first and this is the sweet apple and we have like mittens and like this these cutesies here I don't know if I should put them with my other box or not but I I love this box I can quite get rid of it in several years old and it's plastic and paper but still like it and this one is also one I haven't used not one time I have not used this because sweet apple is not really my scent this one does not smell because I smelled it but I don't use it but it doesn't smell like apples no more or sweet apples but now when it's on it smells more so bad I thought it was going to be worse but it's not yeah it actually is sweet apple and a little bit red not much but a little so yeah we're going to put that back there into this case. We're going to go from that to that last. Hold on, that was sweet apple. Did I show you the text? But yet again, cutesy, sweet apple, pretty. And yeah, you can see it's quite much color still in there, so I'm not complaining about that. Although this one does feel a bit weird. No irritation on anything, but the consistent the consistency of it is a bit weird. But that could be because I've been working on that so many times. Mm. It's a bit less, right? Yeah. No, it's not. So, let's go in. And this one is so pretty. It's a 140 pink quartz. It doesn't have pink quartz, quartz on that. On this one it says 140 pink quartz and baby lips crystal. I don't know if you can see like the sparkles in there. Can you see the sparkles in there? I hope you can. Because it's sparkling and crystal. And here's the name. Yeah, you can see it sparkle a bit. Good. We can see some sparkle. But 140. Why? I do not know. But this has sparkles, this has big light pink and shocking pink colors. Lovely. And still smells good. Smells sweet. And we love sweet. The sparkles on this actually showed. Wow, what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they really are moisturizing. Yeah, I do remember why I like this. So sad, so sad. But I think maybe I used them up. 
write a comment what do you think what would you have done if you have so many like me are you using them up or throwing them away because of the animal testing or are you using them up because it's vegan products i want to know are you what what tell me oh why are you on the wrong side yeah you should be smiling on that side that one sure was pretty. Pretty as bubbly. Let's jump into the next one. We have baby lips crystal and 135 and a gloomy coral. Let me call me. 135. And then again with the numbers. Where are the numbers on the back? I can't find them. So that's this one. No numbers, but stands numbers. And this has a lightly, lightly pink tube and um, very neon orange and some sparkly shimmers on the packet as well. Not so much as the previous one, but a little. And this one looks like this. It smells a little like orange too. What do we say the name was? Planet Roll? It smells like... Yeah, it smells like orange and... and some like what's the name lemon or something like that yeah this, this was moisturizing but I do smell like lemony or something like that and watch it's a very intense smell on this Not so much shimmer as the previous one. Quite a bit. Yeah. And here's the number I was talking about. 135. 135. Yeah. Still, nothing wrong with them. Is it going to be wrong with any of these? Even though they're too old to be using? Or... I don't know what to think about that. Like, why not? Why not use like this? I don't know. I'm so cut in half when it comes to that, so I don't, I don't know. And this is the last of these. And we have light pink baby lips with red texts and oh, of course baby lips crystal. And did I say this on this? It is baby lips crystal on our previous as well. Because we are in our little limited edition box with shimmery crystals plus one. Was Sweet Apple the winter favorite back in 2015 16, something like that? Something? I know. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. But let's dive into this one. It also has a number. Nobody is shocked in here. Nobody is shocked about that. So, 130 Crystal Kiss. And you can see the sparkles real nicely on this and there's the text and you can see the sparkles on this very good even in the camera and this is light it smells 
crystal kiss. I didn't know, know that crystal smelled anything. This also smells like some sort of uh, vitamin C food, like. Something like that. Lime or something. Hmm. Sparkles on this. Hmm. Nice shots. Let's see. Lemony lime. For now, we're just going to put it in here and try our last of the Maybelline Baby Lips lips. It's mm, Baby Lips Moisturizing Moisturizing Baby Lips Moisturizing Lip Gloss 10 Fuchsia Flicker. Ten pure flicker, and it's like glittery and pink. And let's smell and try it. Okay, out of all of these products, this one actually didn't smell that good. It didn't smell as it did when I bought it, and I have used quite a lot of it. It smells a little bit sickening, but we are going to try it <laughs> anywho. Oh, yeah, it, it's gone bad. I really think that this one has gone bad. Just a bit of shimmer left and glossiness. And I don't like how this smells after these years. I bought this 2017. It was the last product I bought or got for that matter, and I didn't wash anymore. So. Mm, this smell actually makes me feel a bit sick, so... Yeah. yeah, and after we have tried all of these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 like sticks and one lip gloss 20 products on our lips my lips are hating me oh they're so dry god and here's the makeup wipe that I used I used one yeah I didn't need no more I love these wipes, they, they smell good and they are good, I hope. Just products like these test on animals or not. because now I can see this sign made in China and I thought like I just bought them and thought like 
yeah, it's a Swedish label, and I thought maybe that's my first one, animals, but I've heard that all products from China are considered on, on animals. I have only heard that, I have not dug into that. And for the time being, I like this. I hope they're not testing on animals when it comes to like makeup cleaners. I hope not. And I'm not gonna say they're doing it because I don't know. It's just something that I read on the internet, but I'm not gonna believe everything I read on the internet. So I'm not gonna believe that for now until we have the facts on the table. Well, that was all for my Maybelline collection. And yeah, what do you think? One last time. If you have like products like baby lips, do we use them up? Do we leave them just because the packaging? Or do we throw them away because the company is trying their makeup on animals? So what do we do? Please comment down below. I'm totally split, cut and don't know if I will use them up or not. As far as I know now, I will not buy any more. Even though I don't have the full collection, I will not support animal testing. That's a fact. And yeah, but if they do drop a cute baby lips, like I can't resist and they stop animal testing, I will buy it and support it and all of that because at least the ingredients are not products as far as I can see or read. If you do have other information, please link so I can read it for myself. I haven't found anything like that that they contain any like yeah animal testing or not. But yeah that was all for now. And see you on the next one. Hope you like my necklace thing and have a great night. Rest in peace, my brother, and yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful time. If it's sunny outside, put sunscreen on. I know I say that in every video, but we don't have one have skin cancer or anything like that. So put sunscreen on, like any kind, the higher kind is better. That's all for now, we're gonna end with holding these because these are so special like package, this is the body as a Christmas present for me. We're gonna hold this and say our goodbyes. Bye. But before I go, thank you so much more for watching this video and if you have questions, comments, comment down below. Yeah, that is all, and goodbye. Yeah, something I did forget. I forgot my good drink. Oh. Mm. Festus Coco Melon. There is some trash sugar you've seen me drink in this before. And my thoughts are still the same. It's very good. And yeah. So now I will leave. I will end this video now. Uh, so sorry, it's so long. Mm. So sorry about that. Um, I hope to see you on the next one. Anywho, like I said. If it's something you want to know or whatnot, put a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.